Megan and I thought I would share with you today some of my current favorites and some product updates of stuff that I might have shown you in vlogs or mostly in vlogs because that's mostly what I do now. So I thought I would go over some stuff that I'm wearing today because I was feeling really inspired to do something different and I've had this palette that I made a long time ago when I was reorganizing my eyeshadows and it's just in one of these great MAC quads but there's only one MAC eyeshadow in here. So this one is MAC Plumage which is this beautiful teal color that I have in like the second half of my lid. In like the inner corner in the first half I have Urban Decay Sellout which is this beautiful like pinky champagne color and then these bottom two shades I have in my crease and blending out the plumage shade these are both by makeup geek this one is bitten and this one is cupcake and I used to be obsessed with both of those shades and sell out but plumage I really never got use of but this quad is so pretty I use the Laura Mercier Moonlight Caviar Stick as my base and then just really packed on plumage on my outer half of my lid, put the sellout in the inner part and then blended out with these two shades, mostly with Bitten but then a little bit on the edge with Cupcake and then just packed more plumage on until it like was really the depth and the bright like teal that I wanted it to be because I didn't want it to be just like a murky like is that just a dark like a black blended out I really wanted it to be like prevalent that it was a teal shade and I love how it turned out I I feel really good about my eyeshadow today and then uh, something that I've been really really loving that I have an update on and I wanted to show you guys it on my lashes is the L'Oreal Voluminous lash paradise and so this is the waterproof that I accidentally put on my eyes today I didn't want to use the waterproof um but I put it on accidentally the waterproof is just such a pain to take off I never really have used waterproof mascara before and I don't think I would buy this version of this mascara because Michael's brother and his girlfriend got me this really cool set of lash primer, the Voluminous Primer, and then the Lash Paradise in Mystic Black, which is just like a plain black, not waterproof. And I like this so much more. It gives me the same like really big lash effect, but it's it lasts all day and it doesn't like pain me to take off at night like literally when I use this waterproof I can't even get it all off at night even with oils eye makeup remover all the nine yards that I do it still lasts on my lashes and I just can't handle that so I would definitely recommend the lash paradise but just get like the normal non-waterproof version also today I'm wearing a lipstick that I haven't worn in a long time. This is one of my old favorites. This is Urban Decay Sheer Rapture. Don't you guys remember when their Revolution lipsticks were like this? I guess their lipsticks aren't even called Revolution anymore. This was my and still is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I'm so mad that they don't have this anymore. It's just like this beautiful balmy like berry color. I thought it went perfect with the Bitten and Cupcake in my crease. So I was excited to play with some different stuff that I already had that made me really excited again. I haven't done different looks like at all lately and I was just really really feeling it. This NYX matte liquid liner I love how it looks like when it's applied but applying it I can't do it it's like impossible to me it's just like this and the um wand is in like the well of ink and there's nothing wrong with the brush like it's nice and thin but I just find this so much harder to use than a pen and I just need to go and get either the Jessie's Girl again, which I know I love, and I've been contemplating getting the Jordana one, because that's what Emily Noel 83 uses a lot, and her eyeliner always looks spot on. So I just can't do this style of liquid liner. It's so hard for me to get like close enough because I'm so... I don't know I just feel like nervous when I use this and I chose to get this because it was so much less expensive than um, the pen liners that I was looking at 
but honestly, I don't think it's worth the aggravation. So I love the final result of this. It's really, really rich black, matte as could be, lasts all day but just the application it, I think it's just because I don't have enough experience with it but it's much harder to me than a pen liner like so much harder this um dose of colors the girls palette the Desi and Katie collection Chloe got this for me for Christmas and I really really have been enjoying this I especially love these bottom two shades which are um I can never tell which way it is. I think this is Turbo Sun and this is Harpoon. But these are the ones that are best applied with your fingers. And they're so richly pigmented and they're so glittery. I wore these pretty much every night that Michael and I went out in Boston. And I wore um, harpoon I think that is why is this so difficult for me yeah harpoon the more greenish gold on New Year's Eve with midnight cowboy glitter liner on top like padded in and it was amazing these are so so nice like I do like the top two shades for a bronzy look but the bottom two ones are definitely like the standout more unique shades and they're just beautiful glittery shades that don't have a lot of fallout which is really surprising so those two are really really cool but I don't know if you can buy them separately but this palette I believe is in like the 20 to 30 dollar range so if you like Desi and Katie you might want to get this either way but these are just two really cool glittery shadows for my face I've been so dry and we're gonna get into like so many moisturization products but I still want to wear like face makeup but when I was like blending with a buffing brush it just made me look so dry and so crusty so I've been back to using my Real Techniques complexion sponge like dampening it but sometimes I will apply my primer which oh my god this primer is so good the cover effects illuminating primer I got this and the illuminating setting spray and a mini of the moonlight um, liquid in a set and I really only like these two products I don't really like the liquid it's basically just glitter on my face and I don't really prefer that but uh jamie from jamie jinx she told me to really really shake this there's like a ball in here because this has glitter flex in it so if you don't super shake it up you're just gonna get glitter on your face so really really shake it up but i um do my illuminating primer applying it with the sponge and then i have been using every single day the smashbox studio skin foundation in 0.5 which chloe got me for christmas it's a perfect match for me and so i just apply it as normal not really like blending but like tapping so any dry skin that i might have isn't accentuated and then i set it with this illuminating spray and the it's not like it gives me a full-on glow but it helps my dry skin not look as dry and I really really appreciate that so this combo of products has been really nice for the super dry weather we've been having and then I can't stop talking about this the cover effects moonlight powder highlight this is incredible <laughs> I can't stop with it I am wearing it today I wear it every day that I wear highlight it looks like absolutely nothing in the pan but when you apply it to your skin it's this lit from within silvery ethereal natural glow it's so beautiful and everyone needs to try it for lips I've been dying over the Fenty gloss bomb this is so good I actually got two of them for Christmas one from Chloe and one from Aunt Sue so thank you guys so much I have one in my purse and I keep one on my vanity because I just love this stuff so much it smells like like fruit or something it has this giant applicator it's like a super cushiony gloss that it's just like pillowy on your lips it's so pretty it goes with every look and oh I just love it I want to try more stuff from Fenty Beauty but this was like the number one thing I wanted to try and I'm so thankful that I got two of them so thanks so much Aunt Sue and Chloe for these gifts another gift from Aunt Sue that I 
have appreciated so much I haven't had this in like a year is the OPI Nail Envy so this is a product that I swear by my nails used to be so brittle so awful and I finally bit the bullet a few years ago and got this product and it completely changed my nails my nails have never been that brittle after using this product so my nails haven't been that bad but they're just not they don't grow as long as I wish that they would just naturally so I put this on my Christmas list and Aunt Sue got it for me and um, I have the little instructions so I can tell you guys it but basically it's just a nail strengthening product that you apply like a base coat or a nail polish and I think it just looks so pretty on your nails it's just so glossy and gorgeous so the first day you apply two coats you skip the day after on the third day you apply a coat skip the next day fifth day you apply another coat skip the sixth day and then on the seventh day you r remove all of the layers and then you reapply and you can use it like I said as a base coat that's what I always used to do but I honestly just like how it looks on my nails without anything and I have so many nail polishes and I never use them I don't allow myself to buy nail polish anymore because as pretty as I think they are I never wear them they just chip so quickly and I'm over it so I just really like how this strengthens my nails and also how it looks on my nails so this is a product I know is tried and true and I'm so glad to have it again in my life a totally random favorite but I need to mention are the Ghirardelli milk chocolate caramel squares oh my I'm obsessed with these. I got more for Christmas from Aunt Gina and Uncle Doug. Thank you guys so much. But I have some on my bedside. Michael has his own bag on his bedside. And then we have backups because they're just, oh my God, they're sensual. <laughs> that would be my best word to describe these. They're so delicious. They're so chocolatey and smooth. Like the caramel is so smooth and luxurious. It is perfection so if you've never tried them try them at your own risk because you will be obsessed like me and Michael are okay um some skin hydration products so I have an update on this the peach slices citrus honey aqua glow it's a hydrating moisture gel and it's supposed to be a serum and moisturizer in one and as much as I think that this product is okay, it's not enough for my skin this time of year. So I'm gonna put this away until maybe like April, May time because it's it gives such light moisturization, it's almost like pointless to apply to my skin. And I don't love this packaging so much. It's such a big tube, it's kind of like, I don't know I just don't love it as much as I thought I would it's okay but we'll see how I think of it in the spring and summertime when my skin doesn't need as much moisture but right now my skin can take all the moisture it can get and so in the daytime I've been using the Polish Choice Skin Recovery Replenishing Moisturizer and this is such a nourishing cream it sinks in really really well but it hydrates your skin so beautifully and I used to only use this at night but now I use like multiple layers of moisturizer at night and then I use this in the daytime and it's just I can't like be without it it's so necessary for my super dry skin right now it's just so dry outside that my skin just has no moisture even though I'm literally addicted to water I drink water like 5,000 gallons a day but I need so much more like physical and like topical hydration and this does the trick for me I also have been really loving the Abib hydration cream I've been using this at night this is something that I got from Peach and Lily and I love it because it has very few ingredients all the ingredients are like the main ones are listed on the front and then there's a full ingredients list on the back but most of the ingredients are natural just like really really hydrating ingredients and I have been layering this with other creams because I'm not sure if it's like quite enough for as dry as it has been like today the high is like 16 degrees Fahrenheit and it's so windy like the wind chill is probably like five degrees so 
I've been using this and really really enjoying this but it's just not quite enough like I don't think I'm not sure these might be comparable in moisturization the texture of these is very similar but I like them both like I don't know I just wanted to mention this because it's a really nice product also I've been really really enjoying the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask I've been very skeptical of this and I haven't really wanted to talk about it other than here and there in vlogs but this is actually a really nice resurfacing treatment for your skin overnight. So as I've told you guys before, apply this as if it were a serum and really mix it up because it is natural. So a lot of the ingredients separate. So mix it up with your hands or a Q-tip or a little spatula. Apply it to your skin as if it were a serum and it's like oily and very shiny when it's applied to the skin and it smells absolutely amazing just like watermelon it's crazy let it sink into your skin for 30 seconds or a minute whatever it takes and then apply your moisturizer as normal but in the morning I just feel like my skin feels smoother and I don't know if it gives like hydration or anything but definitely like the texture of my skin is really really nice after using this so I have been liking this. This is a small size that came in a kit with this and the um, Blueberry Bouncy Cleansing Gel. I hate that stuff. It is so drying on my skin. I can't stand it, but this stuff is really nice. I've been using this in the daytime as well, the Leilani Champagne Serum. I bought this on Black Friday and I was using it at night sometimes, but I've needed hydration so badly I've been using this in the daytime and I love it so right now Leilani is doing a like kit with this and their bless balm which I've wanted to try and I would buy that kit if I didn't just buy this um but that's a really great way to try two products from her line so this is a really great hydrating serum it has beautiful natural ingredients but I like this for daytime right now but pretty much all year I would use it at night more so but this is a really nice all-natural serum this is just a random one my mom got me this at um, Target they were clearancing out the Burt's Bees pumpkin spice lip balm she bought like 11 of these she loves it so much I don't know if I can get on board as much about this because I really only like minty lip balms and the normal Burt's Bees is like my die hard but I don't know my mom was like how could you not love it but I'll give it a shot you guys but if you are obsessed with this check out your target because they were clearancing them out for like a dollar fifty or even less than that I'm not not sure but she said there was a whole bin of them like hundreds so if you love this check out your target okay one last face thing before we get into some body stuff you guys know that I bought the face halos a while ago and the one side's really dirty so I'll show you the clean side um these are interesting to me it definitely works it definitely removes pretty much all my makeup except for the waterproof <laughs> lash paradise mascara but it takes off most of my makeup I would say like 80 to 90 percent of my makeup it takes off and definitely I wash my face after using this but I just hate how dirty it looks that's even with me washing it immediately after using and I haven't washed it in our washing machine yet but I feel like it gets so stained so quickly like I only use this like two times two or three times at most so it's basically just a microfiber cloth that you wet and you like swipe all over your face and it removes your makeup and I do think that this is a much more sustainable way to remove your makeup than using like an oil or a cleanser or whatever because you only really have to buy this once and that you have to buy like every few months or whatever it is but I think just using a washcloth would do the same thing like I don't know I think this I was tr not like I was tricked but it's just like a marketing thing that it's like this cute little halo that removes your makeup and stuff but I do think this is good but I wouldn't recommend spending your money on it okay then for my body oh my god give me all the hydration this 
is such a good hand cream. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal Cream Oil. And me and my sister swear by Gold Bond. We can't like use anything else. We just swear that it is the best. And I got this in an influencer box and I'm so glad that I did because it's so nice. It smells really nice and coconutty. It's a thicker cream, but it absorbs so quickly, but leaves your skin much more hydrated than it was before. I really love it. It says that it gently exfoliates and that it nourishes your skin. So I don't know exactly what ingredient exfoliates your skin, but it's very, very hydrating and it definitely works really well. Like my hands aren't cracked or anything. They used to be very, very cracked, but I like got in the habit of moisturizing my hands pretty much every time I wash my hands. So love this stuff and I swear it works. For my legs, I've been loving the Kopari Coconut Melt, which is literally just coconut oil. And I have, I have a decent bit of this left. So I'm gonna use this up over the next like few weeks, but can I use just like any coconut oil in replace of this? Like I'm definitely not gonna spend the overpriced price tag that they're asking for this product because it's literally, if you look at the ingredients, coconut oil organic that's all that it is so if i go to like walmart or something and i get organic coconut oil will it do the same thing as this i assume so but i don't know so i'm gonna let you guys answer me down below but i've been loving this for my legs like right after i shave them and i apply this to my legs it's the most beautiful feeling in the world it just sinks in so nicely and it works really, really well for me, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Lastly, and probably the most important things, are my peppermint body products. I'm obsessed with peppermint, you guys. Like, I admit it, I'm obsessed. And since I've been sick over the past like week or so, I've just really been craving this scent to help with my sinuses, help like just invigorate me and so I've been using the philosophy peppermint stick body wash and the Bath and Body Works twisted peppermint body cream so I've been using the twisted peppermint only on my arms because I'm savoring it I don't want to put on my legs and waste it you know because I only have two of these that I bought during the Christmas time. And then this, I only have this one. This is really hard to find for some reason. So I only have this, so I'm definitely sparingly using it, but it just smells, oh my God, it's so pepperminty. And like, I force myself in the shower to like breathe in and get like aromatherapy from this because with the hot steam and everything, it just like helps drain my sinuses. It's wonderful, I love it. So these two have really helped me feel a lot better and it's probably just a mental thing, but I feel like these help a lot when I'm not feeling so well. So that is everything, you guys. Those are all my current favorite stuff, some product updates, makeup that I'm wearing today, and I'm feeling so much better today. I've been feeling really, really shitty over the past few days, but today I feel much more like myself which is a really exciting feeling so thanks so much for hanging out with me let me know your current favorites and maybe some updates on stuff that i mentioned or stuff that we've talked about before and i will see you guys really soon bye